So you're ready to work with your new assistant. I wanted to take a moment to introduce you to workflows on Wing. Lots of tedious work is often repetitive and you definitely don't want to have to explain processes again and again to your new team members or worse, have to do it yourself. But the good news is that with Wing, you don't have to. With Wing's workflows, you're able to simply draw out the process, explain it in plain English, and put just about any process on autopilot. So let's get started. The first step is to think about one core reoccurring process that takes up a lot of your or your team's time. So let's do an example. Say you run a staffing agency that sources talent primarily using LinkedIn on a consistent basis. As a business owner, all you need to do is think about the steps involved in this process. So in this case, those steps might be first taking the target skill sets and characteristics that you're looking for and inputting them into LinkedIn. Then you might begin to parse through candidate profiles that match your ideal persona. Once that's done, you will likely decide to contact the candidate with a templated message and then add that person to your applicant tracking system. Next, as candidates start to accept your messages, you will then update the applicant tracking system and set up interview calls to see if there's a fit. So if you're with the staffing company, this is like your core job and imagine how much more bandwidth your team will have because of being able to delegate this task to Wing. Now that there's a process in mind, let's get to the fun part using the workflows. To start, tap the workflows button in the navigation and you'll see a button with a plus sign at the lower left-hand side of the page. And that will allow you to build a workflow from scratch on your account. The shapes you can use have a corresponding feature, but of course you can design the workflow in a way that best suits your strategy. To start, you can drag and drop the shapes that are found on the left-hand side of the interface and label them accordingly with a particular step. You'll probably want to start at the top and then build downwards. The green circle indicates your starting point. This will be found at the top of your workflow and followed by the blue boxes labeled as steps. These indicate the different moves your assistant needs to execute as they go through the process. So to connect one shape to another, you'll hover your mouse over the outline of the circle or the box and click. Once you click, you'll have the option of pulling out an arrow that can connect those two steps in your process together. The diamond indicates questions your assistant might have to consider at the particular point of the task that they're on. And these question steps can access filters for parts of the process where the assistant might encounter variations or might have to make a decision. And last, as a way to signify the end of the workflow, you can simply drag and drop the red circle labeled end and connect it to the last step in your process. Now, you have your initial diagram right in front of you. So you'll wanna take some time to look it over and evaluate. Try to see if you have any potential bottlenecks, redundancies, or weak points that might confuse your assistant. And another tip is to emphasize the gravity and importance of a task or step in the workflow. There's a shape that corresponds to comments that could help you out with this too. Once you're confident that your workflow is as clear as it can be, click on publish and it will appear on your assistant's dashboard. We do suggest setting some time aside to go over the workflows with your VA, whether it's hopping on a virtual meeting or recording a quick wink, or just setting time where you can both be online to answer any questions that they might have. And then after accomplishing all the steps, you can now sit back, let your VA do their magic and give you the results that you need. We have other videos where we go over more examples of workflows that you can build, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish with Wing.